subscribers, our video followers, and here at Hudson Church, it's called Little Children. Mm. Little Children is the name of the topic, and I'm looking at little children, so don't think this is talking about little kids. It's little children, it's all of us, okay? So now, if we don't come to God as little children, it will be hard for us to accept the truth, the blessings of God, into our lives in Jesus' name, Amen. all right? So we have to come as little children. You can be 30 years old, 40 years old, 50, 60, 80 years old, and still be a little child in God's eyes. Yeah. It's not about what we, the world sees us as older men or younger men. It's about what, how God sees us. Um, and uh, we have to come as little children in the sense that you choose to believe the word of God and you do not attempt to reason it in your mind or doubt it. Okay, we're not a little child. If when we read something, we start doubting it, or we choose not to believe it, okay? This is a book of faith, okay? This is a book that does not, is not a book to reason it. You understand what I'm saying, reason? What's reason? Remember, it's a Bible study, so we can talk. When somebody's trying to reason something, what does that mean? Negotiate. Negotiate. Make sense of it, make sense of it, logic, okay? So, if we read the story, does it make sense? That a sea open up, in, uh, 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 it doesn't matter what sea it is, because it happened more than once. Does that make sense? Does it make sense that you shout and a wall, a fortress falls over? No. Okay, uh, does it make sense that a, a father will take his son and, and give him up and, and put him on an altar full of fire and is going to uh, kill him with a knife? Does that make sense? No. No, okay, so but all that makes faith. We have to receive this book. The Bible by faith, in Jesus' name, and we cannot do it by our flesh. And remember, it's only by the Spirit of God that we can receive the blessings of God in Jesus' name. Amen. The world says, when will we give? When we get, right? <laughs> what does the Word of God say? Give, and, give and you will get it back. Okay, so does that make sense? I'm going to give when I get, that's what I'll give. All right? That's what the world says. But God says, give. And you will receive, okay? The world says, who to love? Those that love us, okay? The world says that. What does the Bible say? Love? Love everyone. And love your enemies, okay? Now that, it, it turns things upside down. Yes or no? Yes. Who do we forgive? Those who say I'm sorry to you? No. Those that we want. <laughs> Those that you want to forgive? No, we have to forgive everyone. Remember that. Forgive doesn't mean I go out with you. Doesn't mean I stay with you. But I have to forgive you and ask God to bless you and, 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 and to forgive you in Jesus' name. Understand the difference? Yeah. Anyone have a question? Yes. Praise God. Does it make sense that we're here at, at a catering hall at 7 o'clock at night? Well, we can be with our house, we have things to do. Uh, does it make sense? No, but we're here. Why? Out of faith and out of love and out of obedience to the Word of God. Amen? I just want to say hello to my beautiful sister, Blanca. So, welcome, Blanca. All right, so um, let's continue. So now, we have to receive the things of God by faith as little children in Jesus' name. Mark 9, 23. Let's all read this together. Mark 9, 23. Everybody read. Ready? Read. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. So are things possible to you if you do not believe? No. So what does to believe mean? And this is not about believing. We're talking about little children, but go ahead. What does to believe mean to someone? Talk to me. Marilyn, raise your hand. It's still in order. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Will you start it? Go to have faith in what is not seen. To have faith, that's, okay. Faith is to have to, you know, what you don't see to, to, to believe it, okay? Marilyn, what do you say? I was, I was, you know, to piggyback on what he was saying, I was going to say when you, when you believe that something will happen, even though you don't have any evidence or you haven't seen or heard or it hasn't been proven, you just, like a child, when a child reads something, okay, so, you so, know, they, they believe, they don't question it. So, parents, most of us here, a lot of us are parents, and some of us are going to be parents in the future, 
When you tell your little kids when they're young, three years old, we're going to Disney World, for example, going to the beach or going to wherever it is that you want to go. So they say, how are we going? And, and where's the money going to be? And, and are you sure that we're going? What do the kids say? They start jumping up. Or, yeah, we're going to Disney World. They don't know. You might not have the money. You might not have bought the tickets. They choose to believe us. Yes or no? Okay. Now, once they start getting bigger, what happens? Right. Why does that happen? Because you lied to them. Because we've lied to them. Because we have, but let's put it nice way. We haven't kept our word. We come up with excuses and we haven't kept our word. But God always keeps his word to us. So we cannot treat God like maybe our fathers and mothers. Because they may. How many of you have had mother, fathers and mothers that have lied to you? I saw my hand. And I'm sorry, I'm a father there. My daughter's over there. So I've lied to her. I'm guilty of both sides uh, on that one, right? Okay, so then we think that, uh, that it doesn't matter, but that starts working on our psyche, and, and then we start thinking that God is like our parents who were, or our grandparents, some people might not have their parents, uh, uncles, grandmas, whoever raised them, because they lied to them, and we think that our God is like that. But again, the Bible says we must come to God as little children. So now, what is a, chi what is a child, children, or childlike? Us in church, what is that? The definition. What is a child or children? A, a child, children, or childlike? To be childlike. Raise your hands, keep it in order. Read up. They're innocent. They're innocent. Beautiful. They're innocent. Okay, what else? Ch very trusting. Trusting. I'm the money. We got a good group here. What else? A child. So think of you when you were a child, Gloria. They're open and they have imagination. Okay, very good. Go, Marilyn. Trustworthy, right, right. Trusting. All right, so, so the definition, if you look it up in, in, in uh, your dictionaries, okay, children or childlike is marked by innocence. Trusting, ingenuous. Did I say that right, ingenuous? Yeah. Okay, childlike delight. Do children delight in an ice cream? You gave them a little ball, and they go, oh, thank you for this. I'm putting my little ball, uh, so, or something, and they just enjoy themselves with it, right? Uh, uh, also showing the pleasing qualities such as innocence that children often have. So now remembering that, that's how you have to come to God. So some of us, are, I got to go to Bible study. So when we say I have to go, are we coming in as children? No. 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 I'm going to say how we came today. Forget about it. We're here. So praise God that we can through. But God says that we should do things childlike. Say, man, I get to go. Uh, you know, I want to go, I want to learn, so when we start doing it with the right motive, then we're going to start receiving the blessings into our life. When we go, uh, have somebody helped us, or have we done something with a poor attitude, and we didn't receive the blessing of what we did? Yeah. Oh, yes. Right? And we don't get thanked for the person, because, uh, you know, it, like say, they actually throw out the garbage, throwing it out, banging the doors and doing everything, you know, making noise and that, right? And, and then, what, you know, even though you threw it out and say, you, you didn't get the benefit of obeying. Mm -hmm. So, or, or anything. With, uh, not my the, the main cook also. How many times you cook something and you cook it with a poor attitude? No and you just put it together, no love, right? Just because, like something, here's your food. Man, you stuck with a burger cake, man. <laughs> that is giving the food. You're, yeah, so you're giving me the food, but look at the attitude that I'm getting the food with uh, on there. Uh, somebody had their hand up because I want everybody to talk. Read on, go. You also give with a enthusiasm. People receive the same way. Right, right, right. So if, if somebody asks you, "Can you help me move, carry this table, and do something to pick up at the store?" Oh man, now I got to pick up something and, and then help. And now you're complaining all the way. Now you help somebody, but you did it with such a poor attitude that you're, it's, it's going to reflect negatively on your seat because you're putting poison on the seed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I mean, so now, so come to God with, as a child. Uh, the, today's message is little children. So let's see what, if this is true. Remember that this is a Bible-believing church. Everything that we tell you, we must find it in the Scripture. So let's see Matthew 18, 1 through 5.